Whew. Reducing our intake of added sugar is a healthy choice. Hi, I'm Steph. And I'm Ned. We're from North Carolina State University's SNAP-Ed Steps to Health program. As we know, fruits, vegetables, and dairy products contain natural sugars. They are called nutrient-dense because they provide beneficial nutrients with fewer calories. Stay tuned to learn more. Don't sugarcoat it. We've heard that saying before, but we take it literally when it comes to what we eat and drink. It also means give it to me straight. So here goes. Calorie dense foods as opposed to nutrient dense foods are usually processed foods that are low in nutrients and high in calories. Packaged cookies, cakes, ice cream, cereals, and sugar sweetened beverages are a few examples. Consuming a diet high in added sugars increases the risk of obesity, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and dental cavities. The American Heart Association recommends that women limit added sugar to six teaspoons a day and men to nine teaspoons a day. Children and teens from ages two to 18 should consume less than six teaspoons of added sugars per day. The best way to know the amount of sugar a product contains is by checking out the nutrition facts label and the ingredients list. Ingredients are listed in the order of weight. The closer to the top sugars are on the list, the more added sugar there is in the product. Looking for ways to decrease your intake of added sugar? Replace processed foods with ones that are fresh, frozen, or canned without added sugar. Substitute water for sweetened beverages. Keep water on hand at work in the car and at home. Carry a bottle with you and refill it throughout the day. Infuse your water with fruits and vegetables, citrus fruits, melons, cucumber, or spices, such as apple spice, cinnamon, and mint make a great addition to water. Choose whole fruits with fiber instead of juices for dessert and snacks. Try adding fresh fruits to smoothies, cereals, yogurts, and salads. Select whole grain cereals with less than six grams of sugar per serving and at least three grams of fiber per serving. Replace ice cream with plain yogurt topped with fresh fruit with no added sugar. Thank you for joining us today. We hope that we've provided you with some simple ways to limit your intake of added sugar. Don't sugarcoat it. Remember, less is more when it comes to added sugar.